agenda for today. I was gonna get, I was gonna go and get my hair cut since I have, uh, my hair is a little long. I mean, for me, I don't really have that much hair. But anyway, that's the agenda. But before I do that, before I go ahead and uh, do what I need to do, that is one, exchange money, two, uh, get, Get a haircut but before i do i'm gonna get breakfast and i'm gonna show you the, the place that i come to it's really inexpensive you end up spending probably a couple of dollars uh, it's called campanario so really inexpensive stuff Alright, with breakfast out of the way, let's go and get something to change money. And then after that, I am gonna go and get a haircut plus a shave. The place that I am gonna go or planning to go, they cater only to guys. They don't do, they do not cut any hair for any, for girls. And I have seen on some Google reviews that they refuse to even uh, serve or cut gross hair. So I will practically continue to go. There is the Oxo in the corner. And it's really early in the morning to have a beer just yet but I might surprise you the time right now today is 11 in the morning on this Saturday so this little street over here it's a little bit more quiet it's more quiet than the other street that it's the main uh, street but I have to go into that main street as the the place to exchange money is going to be on, on the other side, so I will try to continue walking on this street as much as possible as it's less congested than otherwise. So parking here is really narrow, so you have to really park really close to where you live. The other thing is that most likely the cars here are going to be stick shift just because of heels and whatnot. So, I don't know what these guys are doing, they're blocking the, the road, and this other guy cannot make the left. I think they're getting some furniture into an apartment. But let's go down to one of the main streets it's called Calle Juarez or Juarez Street it's another auction I'm telling you they are all over the place I am really close to where I'm gonna exchange the money as well and I'm gonna show you where I do exchange money the rate there I believe is about 19.50 if I remember correctly this is going to be the second time that I use this current currency exchange place I use at the airport when you get here you might get maybe $50 or so the exchange rate is about 16 something pesos to a dollar that was you know, when I arrived but I needed Mexican money pay for the cab and whatnot so I exchanged some money there but again the exchange rate there is really it's really bad but anyway let's continue going on
bus stop. Pero para King. Pita quería fonda el güero. A couple days ago and it was really good and cheap. Really, really cheap. I think they still have the same. They still have the same promotions that they were running the other day. And uh, it's real good, really cheap. I think I already passed the... No, no, I'm on the right track. This is a little place where you can get your fruits, vegetables, little convenience store, uh, everyday items. Small place, but it, it will do. You're staying around here. Again, where you can go, it's always the Opsos. But they... This little street that I just showed you, they have more stuff, especially fruits and vegetables. So, right there is pretty much the beach or the Malecon as well. So, it's really convenient. You need a massage? There is a massage. to where I need to exchange money and this is a small place here rent or such right there se renta rent you are really really this one it looks like kind of vacation rental as well I was looking at some of these places I believe on Airbnb and such but they don't do not have a, a view and then they are practically the ones in the first floor so but you're really close to El Malecón It's really nice cheap places that you can eat Yes. 
to computer and you don't have gears or whatever it is, that's the place to do it. And I am this is the place that I am looking for. intersection so this is a casino and I don't know if I have shown you that before hotel right here Hotel Rosita has been there since 1948 still in business these right here so we're using flip-flops you're gonna get all that water in your shoes or well your flip-flops that's why I have shoes I have not show, shown you this part of El Malecón So this is Sota Rosita, as you can see they have a swimming pool, some chairs and whatnot, eat your drink. That looks to be like a restaurant. So continue walking on this side and we're really close to to the hotels area and I'll see if I can go through here it was more like a river but I can go through here Oh, this place inside looks to be abandoned. I'm not really sure if that's the case though. Hmm. Let's continue. On. Hola.
Next to be almost spot for locals and tourists and old. Let me see if I can find the name of this beach. This is Shrimp Beach or Playa Camarones. another hotel right here or it's condominiums it's condominiums so let's go continue walking continue walking and practically admiring the view of the beach. Looks like you can rent these chairs and a little canopy and probably you can get a beer somewhere <laughs> at your also and fix to VA restaurant a couple restaurants here I think one is Luna Azul the other one maybe Mangos I'm not really sure you can come and chill here have a beer or one not That's a private house or something else. I have volleyball net here and you can play volleyball. Ball. <laughs> Hola. The humidity right now, since it rained yesterday, it's a little high. It will sweat really quick. Right now it's the rainy season and it rains for from anywhere from 30 minutes till two, three, four hours. And it pours. It's not just a little rain, it pours. A couple days ago, I got stranded getting something to eat for probably half an hour, an hour. And then I decided to just get a cab to where I was 
staying instead of continuing to wait the rain out and I think it continued raining like for a couple hours and again it's not a little sprinkle here and there it's a pour even though that probably was five ten minutes walking to where I was staying if I had walk during the rain I would probably have got really soaked It's a restaurant right there. Is yes. I far. Ooh, I feel now like a million dollars practically. I got my haircut and uh, I got a shave as well. And uh, they really take care of you at these barbershops. They go, they start with, uh, they do hot towels, they do creams, they do for the shave, for the, to cut your hair. And uh, it takes anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. That, that's how long they, they will pamper you for that time and uh, the price at the end of the day uh, the service with the haircut and the shave and then they use knives and it's amazing the what they do and uh, they are not paying me anything to say this just so you don't say that I am uh, getting paid by them or that this was free this was not free I paid for it and uh, the cost was 250 pesos i give him a 50 pesos tip at the end of the day it's about 300 pesos which is about 15 dollars but the time that they spend on you the hot towels the cold towels the creams the powders all the stuff that they do it it's worth it it's worth it again it's this is mexico and uh you know, if you don't want to spend $15, that's fine. I understand that. But if you go there and do this, you will take me later. So I would tell you that they had they have beers, that they will offer you beers or a water. And this is not the case. I asked them why not. And they pretty much told me that just because of the situation that's going on right now, that they don't give you a beer so uh, but there is an oxo across the little street and if you want a beer that someone from from the barber shop will be will gladly go across the street and get you whatever beer you want um, keep in mind that you're going to pay for the beer and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's really inexpensive uh, 18 19 20 pesos for one beer it's about a dollar less than a dollar so if you want a beer just let them know which beer you want and give them the money and they will go ahead and come back in a couple minutes so anyway thank you very much for watching my videos uh, i hope that the noise around here is not that bad and uh, but anyway i will continue talking about this guys and i will uh, link or give the address and link to where they are so because they really do a great job so anyway thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day afternoon if you're watching in the evening 
you're having a beer watching my videos that that would be awesome also that if you can buy me a beer so i can keep on making this video so i can keep on bringing you this content it takes time and effort to make this happen and uh but anyway thank you very much have a fantastic rest of your day afternoon night thank you thank you